Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA, my ex-GF claims my current GF sabotaged our relationship. I'm a 28-year-old guy, and this past month has been really confusing. My ex-girlfriend, Julie, 29F, believes that my current girlfriend, Mindy, 28F, manipulated and sabotaged our four-year relationship. Julie and I were together for four years, and we had a great relationship. We shared a love for outdoor activities, running and had similar lifestyles. We've been living together for the last three years, and we're even talking about getting married this summer. Everything seemed perfect, and I was planning to propose over the holidays. But in September, I noticed Julie started acting distant and stressed. I was worried and couldn't imagine she was cheating on me, but she was spending more time alone, which concerned me. Around the same time Mindy, who is Julie's friend and co-worker, messaged me privately, asking if we could meet because she had something important to tell me about Julie. I was surprised but decided to meet her. When we met, Mindy asked if everything was okay between Julie and me, and then she dropped a bombshell. Julie had confided in her that she was planning to leave me I was devastated. I asked if there was someone else, but Mindy said no, Julie just wasn't sure about marrying me. Mindy said she felt obligated to tell me because she didn't want me to be blindsided. I started putting more effort into our relationship, planning more dates, and trying to make things exciting. Mindy was supportive during this time, giving me insights into what Julie had told her. But before Thanksgiving, Julie told me she wanted to take a break for a month to live alone, and figure out if she really wanted to marry me I was heartbroken. I asked if she wanted to pursue someone else, but she assured me that wasn't the case. She said she needed to be sure she was marrying me for love, not just out of habit. I didn't understand her reasoning and told her that if she wasn't sure after four years, maybe we should break up. After a big fight, we broke up a few days later. With our lease ending in December, Julie moved into a new apartment, and I stayed in our old place. After the breakup I felt incredibly lonely, so I invited some friends over for a New Year's party, including Mindy. We had a good time, and Mindy ended up staying to help me clean up. We hooked up that night, and although I felt guilty, she did make me feel better. Since then, we've been hanging out almost daily at my place. I'm still sad about Julie but Mindy has been sweet and caring, which makes me happy. Last Sunday someone was banging on my door, it was Julie, and she was furious. She accused me of cheating on her, but I told her she was the one who broke up with me. Mindy was at my apartment, and Julie was angry at both of us. She claimed Mindy had manipulated her into taking a break from me to figure out her true feelings, and when I refused, Mindy convinced her I was too controlling and pushed her to break up with me. Mindy denied saying any of this, insisting these were all Julie's ideas, and she was just there to listen. But Julie was even more upset, accusing me of emotionally cheating on her. She said that after a few weeks she realized we were meant to be together, but now she couldn't believe I had moved on so quickly. On one hand I want to believe Julie because she was the one who broke up with me, but I also feel conflicted because Mindy was there for me when I was down. Now, I'm questioning everything. Did I emotionally cheat on Julie? Should I have told her about Mindy's messages? Should I have waited longer before moving on, even though she broke up with me? I'm just really confused and need some advice. Update I want to clarify that we weren't idiots for not seeing what was happening. You guys read an abridged version in 5 minutes, but we lived it for 7 months. After the incident, I messaged Julie every day, trying to talk to her, but she didn't reply. I wasn't sure if she had blocked me. Meanwhile, Mindy kept messaging me, wanting to talk. Finally, I told Mindy to be completely honest about what she said to Julie. I told her I'd go no contact if I found out she was lying. Mindy wanted to meet in person or talk on the phone, but I insisted on everything being in writing. Mindy explained that Julie had always spoken highly of me, but when we started talking about marriage, Julie got cold feet because of issues she saw in her parents' marriage. Julie confided in Mindy that she wanted to take a break to figure out her true feelings, and that's when Mindy decided to tell me what was going on because she felt bad for me. After our fight, Julie told Mindy she would never marry me. Mindy believes the only reason Julie came back was because she heard I was moving on and got jealous. She also said that she sees something special between us. I told Mindy I needed time and kept messaging Julie once a day. Finally, on Friday, Julie replied and said she wanted to meet. When she came over, she looked completely broken. We talked and she explained that she had started feeling scared after we discussed marriage. She thought those feelings were normal and would go away so she didn't discuss them with me. Instead, she talked to Mindy, which she now regrets. Julie revealed that her parents had a rocky marriage, and she didn't want to end up like her mom, who was dependent on her dad for everything. Julie started seeing some of those issues in our relationship, for example, I managed all her finances, and she became too comfortable with the luxuries I provided. She realized she had become too dependent on me and wanted to take a break to figure out her true feelings. 
When Julie asked for a break, she just wanted to live with her best friend for a few weeks to see if she was too codependent. But when I refused, she freaked out and broke up with me because she didn't want to get engaged without being sure. Julie asked when I started meeting Mindy, so I showed her the messages. I told her I only met Mindy once in September, when she told me that Julie wanted to break up with me, I noticed Julie's distant behavior, but when I asked, all she said was, I'm fine, we're fine. Because of my insecurities I tried to hold on to Julie by cobbling her more, which led to our breakup. Julie then asked when Mindy started contacting me after the breakup, so I showed her the messages. Mindy initially just sent memes to cheer me up, and we only talked about casual things. But eventually, Mindy started offering to talk if I needed help, and that's how we ended up hooking up on New Year's Eve. Julie admitted she was miserable after moving out and realized she couldn't live without me. But when she heard about the party and that Mindy was there, she assumed we were having an affair during our relationship. When she saw Mindy at my apartment, she broke down. But when she learned that Mindy had been talking to me and telling me the opposite of what she told Julie, she realized she had been naive to throw everything away without talking to me first. Despite how hurt she was, Julie said she didn't want to lose me. She asked if I was still willing to be together, and I told her I'd do anything to get her back. Julie said she was also willing to move past everything, but she had a few conditions. First, I had to cut all contact with Mindy Blocker everywhere and never speak to her again. Second, she wanted us to do couples therapy to work through our issues before moving forward with any engagement or marriage plans. Finally, she wanted us to forget the last month and never talk about it again. I agreed to everything, and we hugged. I felt so relieved to have a chance to make things right. We spent the rest of the evening cuddling on the couch, watching TV. In the morning, we discussed moving back in together. Julie wanted a fresh start and asked if I'd be willing to move into her new apartment, even though it's smaller and in a less desirable neighborhood. We still need to figure out the logistics, but we're talking about it. I feel incredibly lucky that I didn't lose Julie despite everything that happened. I just hope we can work things out in therapy and move forward together. Final Update Julie and I decided to get back together, but I could see she was still hurt by my behavior. I tried not to overwhelm her with attention and gave her space, which was why we broke up in the first place. Julie had a mental breakdown and panic attack the week after she saw Mindy at my apartment. She started seeing an online therapist, and we also started couples counseling about a month later. We put our wedding plans on hold until we could work through everything. During our first counseling session, we both opened up about our relationship and what happened. Julie apologized for not communicating her feelings and for putting me through so much drama. I also apologized for everything. There were a lot of tears, but the experience was healing for both of us. The counselor said she could see how much we love each other and suggested we take baby steps in communicating better. By the time we left, I was certain I wanted to spend my life with Julie, and she felt the same. Meanwhile, Mindy tried to contact me several times, but Julie blocked her on my phone and all social media. Mindy even sent some nasty messages to Julie and posted intimate photos of us on Instagram, which caused a lot of pain for Julie. Julie reported her to HR and got a transfer and promotion to a different department after a month. We haven't heard from Mindy since, and we've moved on with our lives. Julie has been working on her codependency issues in therapy, which might stem from childhood trauma and was amplified after her mother's sudden death. I've been trying to help her take more interest in our finances, but she tends to avoid those conversations. We ended up breaking the lease on her new apartment, paying a penalty, and staying in our old apartment. However, we recently bought a single-family home in a nice suburb and moved there in May. The codependency issue isn't fully resolved, but I love her and will always be there for her. The main update. Julie and I got married last Saturday in an intimate ceremony at my father's country club. All our family and friends were there, and it was perfect. I wish I could share photos of Julie in her wedding dress she looked stunning. We're leaving for a honeymoon next week, and I couldn't be happier with how everything turned out. Hopefully in 25 years, we'll look back at this incident as just a small bump in our perfect life. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.